Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Well, I'm back in the van, uh, more jobs to do. I think my first job, is that upside down? That's upside down. I'm gonna finish off installing this. Cause I hadn't a clue with the, what the parameters were in the uh, app or anything like that. But I've been on to uh, Tanya Batteries where I got the, uh, the unit from. And uh, they've given me some advice. And also I've been on to the person I bought the unit from as well, the Orion. And I'll put their name up, but they've got me some good advice as well. So we're going to change all the parameters in the app and then see if it goes. There's a load of sugar down here. <laughs> I'm guessing it's come loose out of the cupboard when we've been driving. Well, there's a culprit there. We've got a pile of salt in the corner. I have no idea how that has happened. Across our salt cellar. There it's gone. It's one of them. So, mm -hmm. Now, I was advised in my last video where I actually fitted it that uh, this part would probably need to go in some conduit. But I've had a good feel of it and uh, there's no sharp edges there. So I, know, I think I'm quite happy with that. It's just plastic. Uh, he also said I should probably fasten this part, which is going to the uh, B to B underneath here. He said there'd be some spare bits, but there's this thing here, but I'm not sure. Looks all rusted up as well. I don't know if there's any arm with it just being fastened onto there. It's fused anyway, so I think I'm just going to leave that like that for now as well. But make sure you check with somebody and uh, that's right. I'm, like I keep saying, I'm not an electrician or anything, but I'm going to leave it like that. I think I was also advised to actually, that this wiring which I've just put under here, there, I don't know whether you can see it. Yeah, I was told to, uh, that should probably go in conduit as well, but looking at it, the uh, van's own wiring is just underneath there anyway. So I think, I think this is like a protection anyway. So I think I'm just gonna leave that like that as well. See, the red wiring is mine and the uh, black wiring was already in. It's the van's own wiring, so if it's protecting that, it's protecting mine as well. But what I have been advised, and I know is right, that I put the wrong fuses in. I put 40 amp fuses in, and it actually needs uh, 60 amp fuses, so I've got some of them, so let's get on with doing that. This is where they need changing in that, and in the other side as well. If I can remember how to open it. Right, just undo these a little bit. Okay, done. Swap it over for a 60. And that's that. So this fuse is coming from the uh, startup battery and heading into the, um, the B2B charger. Now the second fuse is this one here, which is which comes out of the B2B charger, which hasn't been connected yet because you have to get the settings right in the app. So it's exactly the same. We're just going to change the fuse. Little nip open. There you go. Can't be bad. Now the uh, monitor on the battery is telling me that it's fully charged. Here's a little, uh, where is it there? So it's on green. So what I've got to go on is, I've got the TV going, so it's using up a bit of the battery so that I can check that it's actually working. Because I assume that it won't actually charge it if it's already fully charged. So I'm just uh, getting rid of some of the power. So now it's time to set up the app. Hopefully uh, I know what I'm doing. I think I do. Uh, I've had some good advice. Uh, and hopefully I can record the screen so you can see what we're doing. Because there isn't any information out there on how to set up a lead acid battery to the uh, Victron Orion. So let's give it a go. So first of all, you've got to open the app, which hopefully you've downloaded. And click on your specific device and we'll connect to it via Bluetooth, hopefully. So as you can see, nothing is actually happening at the moment because it's not connected up. 
Click on the little cog and it will take you to this page. Click on battery preset and user defined. Now you've got to pick which one you need and I've been advised to use the gel Victron Deep Discharge 2. Now that takes you to this page where you can adjust the parameters which Tanya Batteries have told me to do and also Paul from BSP Care. Make sure it's on charger. And I was also told to change these values as well. So you, you need to find out yourself. Right, there we go. All ready to go. I hope. Now make sure with that you've got the engine shutdown detection enabled and you've got the right alternator set up as well. So mine's a smart alternator. <laughs> so as far as I know, I've set that up correctly. So now I'm just going to wire it up and uh, start the engine. And apparently you have to wait two minutes because that's what it's set to. And then it should kick into life. So hmm, let's have a go at that. Right, I just need to connect the live cable from the B2B charger to the leisure battery. It was sparking away there, but it didn't really hurt. Just the shock. Brilliant. It's too small. Gonna to have to put another one on. Been a fool. Right, let's try it before I cut it off. Yeah, that one fits. Chiefy! <laughs> Chiefy's here! Miss Chiefy! There he is! Go on then! Right, because I know that this is really chewy to get in there, I'm just going to leave it in there. I'm going to try and get this on inside here. Is it long enough? Just about, I think. Pop that in there, put your fingers, make sure you get your ear protection on for this noisy job. Uh, it's come out. Hold it in position, give it a good thump. Let's have a look, oh, quite clearly didn't work. Alright, let's have another go. Quite clearly I didn't hit it hard enough. It's not going anywhere. There you go. Nice and neat. Let's get this fastened onto there now. Stop messing about. Hopefully we're not getting any sparks. Because this town ain't big enough for the both of us. Did you get it? Did you get the joke? Ah. <laughs> yeah, I'm guessing I should have turned the power off from the other battery. Right. That's all nice and tight. I'll turn that back on now. Yeah, we've got lights working. Right, that's all connected. We're earthed up. We've got the live going in. We've got the live going out and going to the leisure battery. We've got the live coming in from the startup battery. We've got the app set up. So now I'm just going to start the engine, wait a few minutes, check the app and see if it's working. Fingers crossed that. One thing I have remembered though, you have to put in the little bridge. Can you see that? That slots into the charger. I don't know whether we can see under there or not. I can't see what I'm recording. Oh yeah, I can see it just about. So there it is, there's a little bridge. And that just pushes in there. As far as I know, that's it. Right, let's get that engine started and see what happens. So looking at them figures, it does look like it's charging now. It's be, the engine was running about two minutes and uh, it kicked into life. So yeah, I'm pretty pleased with that. We'll just have to see how it goes in real life, won't we? Next time we do a bit of a longer run, uh, see if it charges it up pretty good. Yeah, I'm pretty pleased with that. Well, that's it as far as I know. That's it finished and it's uh, charging and everything's hunky-dory. So uh, big thanks to the people who helped me from Tanya and uh, BSP Care, I think I've pronounced that right. 
uh, yeah, we, it's all up and running now. So I hope you enjoyed that and uh, maybe learned something. Uh, but always remember to uh, check yourselves and don't just trust what I'm telling you because I'm, I'm not an electrician or an automotive electrician or anything like that. I'm just showing you what I've done myself. So thanks for watching anyway and uh, we'll catch you next time. I think I'm going to be on more travels in the next video. So yeah, then we'll find something else to do on the van. And while I was at it, I did two more jobs as well. I put a fastener on the uh, the little cupboards to stop that opening when we're driving. And I've done this as well. Brenda was whinging about having one of them up, so we've got that done as well. So that's it. Bye-bye now.